Hi, this is Dr. Hockman from Leaf Healthy MD. Today we're going to be talking about what happens in the operating room when, uh, when a surgery is being done. So basically your day when you come to the hospital is going to go through, you get to the hospital, you get the registration and registration, they're going to take you to the pre-op area. In the pre-op area, you're going to see a ton of people. There is going to be a lot of patients, although you don't get to see them. Uh, you're, there is going to be a ton of movement. You're going to get to see your anesthesiologist. You're going to get to meet the CRNA who is going to help the anesthesiologist during your surgery. The surgeon will also go and check on you and make you sign some papers. Once you're done with all the papers signing, there's going to be a period in which you're going to have to be waiting. When they take you to the operating room, what actually happens is when you arrive, the operating room is ready for surgery. When you arrive, they're going to transfer you to the operating room table. Um, the operating room table is very hard and it's cold, so you're going to feel a little bit uncomfortable, but the nurses and the operating room staff will make sure you're as comfortable as possible. Once you're in the operating room, the anesthesiologist is going to guide you through the steps of going to sleep. To make it very quick, what's going to happen is that they're going to put a mask on your face. The mask will contain oxygen, and then they're going to push medications to go to sleep. Once you're asleep in the operating room, we prepare everything to actually start the surgery. So we need to prepare your skin to make sure it's sterile to decrease the risk of infection. And we also need to prepare the instruments and bring them close to you. The surgery will happen after that. So depending on the surgery that you're having, the surgery will take different times. If you take an account, a sleep takes between 45 minutes to an hour, a gastric bypass between hour to hour and a half, and a duodenal switch between hour and a half to two hours. Once the surgery is performed, we proceed to remove everything, all the instruments, uh, and remove everything that is close to you. At that point, your skin is gonna be cleaned one more time and a sterile dressing is gonna be applied. Once the sterile dressing is applied, the anesthesiologist is gonna uh, start waking you up. And once you are awake, they will transfer you again to a more comfortable bed and take you to the recovery room. Again, in the recovery room, there's gonna be a nurse by your side as you wake up, making sure that everything goes well and making sure uh, that you have everything that you need. Once you're done with the recovery room, then you're going to be taken to your room in which you're going to get to meet your family members that they should be waiting over there. Thank you for watching this video. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.